In fact, it would be more likely that we'd be down to 0.5 in a year's time because there would have to be a significant event that would mean we needed to drop rates particularly quickly. Interest rate, should we sort of get that one out of the way? Uh, it looks more predictable than it has done for some time. The markets are suggesting things will settle between three and a quarter and three and a half percent. The nerdy bit, uh, the Bank of England are obsessed with what the natural rate of interest is, which is this kind of flowery concept that doesn't really exist. You'll never know whether you were right or wrong. Uh, I maintained it might be sticking at around 4% at the moment, but the, the people are much cleverer than me and have wonderful computer models said it would be more like three and a half, and it looks like we're heading down there. So that's the point at which what the bank is saying is our interest rate that we've set is not making a material difference to the economy. It's not choking it but it's also not helping it in any way. And it's not the only way they help an economy, as we know. You know, quantitative easing, when money is needed and injected into the system very quickly, they haven't been shy of doing that, although that was a very, very new concept, certainly in England. 20 years ago, we've done lots and lots of it, and at the moment, we're, we're tightening as well. So three and a half looks a fairly good bet, 3.25 maybe. I've been admonishing people, as I have been, have been saying we'll be down to 2.5 in a year's time. That is highly unlikely, and in fact, it would be more likely that we'd be down to 0.5 in a year's time, because there would have to be a significant event that would mean we needed to drop rates particularly quickly. 